Yo, chill, chill, bro. I know I've been gone for a minute, bro, but life. <laughs> and the fact that there's nothing to talk about. So with that being said, there's something to talk about, guys. Now, mind the... <laughs> Mind the fucking title, nigga, all right? I was on a fucking mission. But uh, Kai Sinat, yo, know, he's back. Back on the channel, and uh, this time he's not pranking niggas who are working at Starbucks and shit. <laughs> but um, it's just a clip I've seen that I wanted to discuss a little bit. I make content for kids, but you're dumb as shit if you think I'm making content. I make co the content that I make is for me and other grown ass niggas, bro. And to be fair towards the guy, he really doesn't make content for kids. I'm not even gonna cap, bro. None of his content is aimed towards kids. It just happens to unfortunately be appealing to them. And that's not at the fault of Kai at all, you feel me? I don't put any blame on him. Oh my God, are you serious? <coughs> like I was saying, I don't blame Kai, but at the same time, bro, do not be ignorant to the fact that, bro, kids are majority of your audience, bro. <coughs> I don't know how many people I speak for when I say this, my nigga, but bro, grown niggas are not watching your shit like on some consistent, like we sitting down, booting up the Kai stream and sitting my ass down until it's over shit, bro. Nobody, no grown niggas doing that, bro. And I think he knows that too, fam. Most of the shit or most of the content that I see from Kai is clips, like deadass. Me and my friends, we watch his clips, bro. And I'm literally like a year younger than him. You know what I mean? So I'm his targeted demographic apparently. So with that being said, I just wanted to ask you guys, the viewer, right? When you, I don't know how old you guys are, by the way, but um, uh, for me, example, 20, I'm about to turn 21. Yee, but uh, anyway, as I was saying, as a kid growing up, dude, the content creators I watched said vulgar shit. They did, it wasn't kid friendly per se, you feel me? Lacking it, it appealed to me, you know what I mean? It was entertaining, you feel me? Whether it was Burleazy roasting cartoons or watching a skit from RDC World, bro, you feel me? Don't think that just because kids watch you, my nigga, that that's a bad thing or like, I feel like, especially for content creators, I feel like that's some like, you lose cred or some shit, bro. That's like low cred on some shit, bro. Like, oh damn, nigga, you make content for kids, bro. Like, you know what I mean? I feel like you're seen, I feel like you're seen as some kind of loser, my nigga, or some bullshit like that, but bruh. <laughs> and I feel like as, niggas who all were kids at one point and pretty young there were things that we as kids could not watch or view you feel me by adults what did we do we snuck behind their backs and watched that shit <laughs> and that shit was mad entertaining we're not gonna sit here and act like watching the fat i couldn't watch family guy when i was a kid by the way but that shit was mad entertaining and I that shit didn't fuck me up bro it just made me more aware of adult things you know damn but bro, like I was saying, most of the people I watched growing up didn't make content for kids either. But that kind of exposure, I feel like, helped build my nuance, you know what I mean? And also facilitate my maturity in a way. And you'd see videos of drama in different sides being fucking expressed and shit. And, or exposed videos, bro. Oh my god, this dude got exposed. You could not believe what he did, you know? Bro, if you're around my age, we have personally witnessed so many niggas' downfall, their fall from grace. Bro, this shit still happens to this day, bro. Shit has not changed, you feel me? It's just different times, you know what I mean? And the only thing I can say is, bro, lay off the lay off the kids, bro. You make you make content, kids fuck with it, you feel me? Now, that's 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 whatever, bro. I don't think that's a bad thing, you know? And I don't think that's necessarily and it could be it could be a bad thing for sure, right? If you try to Jake Paul or <laughs> fucking Logan Paul them niggas on some shit, just influence them kids in a positive way. Just keep doing you, man. That's really about it, bro. Like honestly, bro. And kids aren't that dumb, bro. And what I mean by kids, bro, I mean like from the ages of 11 and up. You feel me? They're not completely stupid, but at the same time, yes, bro, they can be influenced. You feel me? They can be influenced and that shit could be scary sometimes, my nigga. It is what it is, bro. We don't get to choose who we influence, you feel me? And the thing is, is just you just gotta move accordingly. That's really about it, bro. Your character, everything just gotta be tip top. There's nothing to really worry about, you know? Yeah, I just wanted to come on here and just talk about that. It was giving the Terrence and Philip vibes from South Park, you know. Oh, you should have watched this kid, it's bad for you. You know, that that was the vibe I was getting, you know what I mean? I just wanted to have a discussion about that in particular, not Kai himself or nothing like that, bro. The dude doesn't make content for kids, and I think that's fine. I don't think he should, too. Like some massive rebranding like Ninja did, I don't think that's a remedy for any of this shit, man. But uh, I just wanted to talk about it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And uh, yeah. Shit, peace out, guys.